Okay, I got a shitty day today, and you know what we do when we have a shitty day? We play video games. And you know what we play video games about? A man who constantly has shitty days that make excellent movies. And you click MAME, because that makes it work. Yeah, that's right, we're playing Die Hard Arcade, one of the many Die Hard games. It's not the Die Hard NES game, which you've probably seen. Winners don't use drugs! I didn't notice that when I was playing before. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that makes me so happy. But yes, this is one of the many Die Hard games. Not... Listen to the audio. The audio has problems with emulation, so it just clicks. A lot. This is one of the many Die Hard games. Not the uh, NES game. That you probably can see on Angry Video Game Nerd, not the uh, PlayStation Die Hard Trilogy or Die Hard Trilogy 2, which Die Hard Trilogy 2 has nothing to do with Die Hard at all. Uh, and then there's the Die Hard Vendetta for the GameCube, which is a pretty average first person shooter. But this is Die Hard Arcade. It's actually Dench, it? it's Dynamite Decca, Dynamite Cop. When they ported it over to America, they changed the name, they acquired the Die Hard license and changed the name, and. I, maybe they reskinned the building, look like Nakatomi Plaza. But other than that, I don't think there's any much of a change. And for some reason, Player 2 is a woman. You, I'll never find that out. I really wanted to play the Saturn version, but... Something crazy happens when I play the Saturn version. Oh, I'll be sure to share it with you. I'll, I'll upload a video later what happens. Also, the other reason I like playing for this is this. INFINITE CREDITS! Actually, cops 24, but I can keep adding more. I don't know how to arrest people, but let's jump right in. Uh, we have some gun armed policemen and some thugs shooting out. Our John McClane lookalike and his lovely assistant escape, while the highly trained police force gets shoots out, shot out by a couple of guys in shorts. Our John McClane and police auction 2 land right on the scene. Uh, let's see, we got punching. And kicking. There's a string. There's different types of combos depending on a, what buttons you press. There's also my favorite move. Oh, I'll have to show you in a bit. Uh, we got the empty helicopter coming on. It got shot down. And in that time, we jump right into this extremely generic fan room. Oh, we got these two guys. Wah, wah, wah. And a good way to avoid getting shot is jumping in the air. And elbow drop! Oh, well, that's never happened before. What chow? Pick up the mop stick. Weapons in this game have two different functions. There's, they have a punch function and a kick function. Kick function, oh, here's punch again. You swing it around wildly like an idiot. And kick function is more dedicated. They even have a jump move. Uh, I don't remember how to get rid of them. Uh, let's get... Oh, shit. Oh, that's one way to get rid of it. And then we punch the bitch in the back of the head. Elbow drop! You'll see me lose the elbow drop a lot. Oh, this is really cool. There's QTE sequences. There's only a couple. And the choices are random, so don't get kick. Which I pulled it off successfully. There's no real punishment for not doing it. You just have to fight that guy. And they're really not that tough. There's usually only one of them. And... There you're getting to the sequence you saw on the uh, startup demo, this elevator. And so... Let's fight these... Oh, and this guy walks in with a missile launcher for some reason. And I'm gonna punch that clock. Now let's take the missile launcher. You know what we do with the missile launcher? Get punched in the back of the head. I saw it coming, too. You know, a missile launcher. Keep moving. Pick up an axe. Enemies will pick up buttons and jump in the air, apparently. See, this game is called a 3D fighter, but really, you can only do up, down. And then there's that pseudo 3D movement of jumping. Oh, crap. See, here's the kick function. Kick him right in the face. Eh, you know what? Do that. That'll get rid of him really fast. Can I, can I fire and jump? Oh, I can't jump with it. What the? Oh, you suck. You can arrest people somehow, I don't remember how. 
Let's see, let's see, there's different things. Let's see, there's clips you can pick up for your guns. Oh, you tickery. I'm getting my missile launcher back. You can also jump somehow. And you can counter these, like so. I'm not just going to roll around gaily with this guy all day. Nope, I'm going to kick him out. There we have the first boss, who looks kind of like the first boss of uh, Final Fight. Except I don't think it's flamboyant. Oh, there goes the clock. Let's get this gun. Guns make everything really easy if you don't... Ugh, if you don't get caught on the wall. Excuse me. I need my gun. Yeah, I'm just going to shoot you. Doesn't that suck? And I gotta line up my shots. And this is my this is here by far. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, damn it! Oh, when you die, you get another. You get another gun. What the? Get my gun. Wah wah. Watch out. And that's the first level of Die Hard Arcade. It really hasn't held well. And this guy, the, the main villain, that guy in the background, the painting, he looks like he belongs in Ghost of the Shell. I know I've seen him before, but that was the president's daughter, by the way. Normally when you get here, there's a wireframe graphic of Nakatomi Plaza, but apparently it doesn't emulate very well, so you can't see that. Oh, I'm getting jumping right into. It. Oh, I didn't pick up. The, oh, I got punched in the face. There's something really cool here. If you remember to pick it up on the previous stage, but I didn't because I suck. Choo choo in the face. A waste of a perfectly good gun. Whoa! I arrested someone. That's so cool. I've never done that before. I don't know how you arrest them. Oh, he did my favorite move to me. Excuse me. Rebel drop! Rebel drop! Oh, he died. Let's pick up some health. Ooh. You get cool juggling sometimes. Oh, someone else, like, oh yeah, the main provider, the main designer. Oh, here's the other QTE sequence, and I'm gonna, probably going to take my break after that. The other QTE... This is what was the main designer of this game, Makoto Uchida. You might know that name, but you probably don't. I had to look it up once I saw it. He's the guy who actually made... Uh, oh, I pause. Okay, that's perfect. He's the guy that made a... Uh, What's it called? I can't remember. I was going to say Altered Beast and Golden Sun. Or Golden Sun. Golden Axe. Which we all know Golden Beast. Or Golden Beast. Oh my god, I'm dyslexic today. Altered Beast really hasn't held up well over the years, but Golden Axe is still a fan favorite. This is falling more in the Altered Beast category, but that's only the first level and a half. Right now we're going to be fighting evil firefighters, which you know we would never see in a game anymore because of 9 11. Which, I don't know if saying that is tacky or not, but evil firefighters. One re-return, and their stupid fire truck. 